that Georgian ball now. Can they create a bit of go forward? That's it into the line out. Beautifully taken, Urushadze. And the start of a drive, I think. You know. It's straight. First impulse brings them back again. 23 minutes played in the first half. Just a, a penalty goal separating the two sides at the moment. And it needs something to spark it into life. It does indeed. Bit of sunshine would help. I think that's a forlorn hope today, I think. Antonda under pressure from the Georgian pack going through quickly well, that was crooked ball anyway but that's not the uh, penalty decision the decision against the front row I think uh, against Marius Visa for popping up there well it's interesting isn't it because it's 22 minutes old and the Georgian scrum is just starting to get some ascendancy and this is an area that Namibia's had big trouble in and all their games have been beaten in this area on the scrummaging department well, the locals in Lons are not too impressed that Merab Kaviri-Kashvili has decided to go for a second penalty, but it makes obvious sense. Well, it does. I mean, I don't think they care about what the local people think. They just want desperately to win. And they just want to get points on the board and keep mounting those points. So, once again, another three. There's Play more the key, psychological yeah. strength. Yeah, played a key role in the Nations Cup match in Romania this summer, the only previous meeting between these two sides, kicked 11 points in the Georgian victory. Just faded. Yeah, just couldn't quite get the wind right. So, still three points to nil then. Georgia lead. Well, Namibia really need to get their hands on the ball and hold on to it for a while and get a bit of that drive going that we've seen in the past. Schroeder goes for length. Oh, it's Kivirashvili with that big left boot who puts it up. Not forward, surely. Chance for Namibia, though, maybe, to counter-attack. Berger takes it in to tidy things up. Comparatively, there was a bit of a mess in there, and in the end, maybe a diving in over the top of the ball, once again conceding the penalty to Georgia. Again, there's a decision for the skipper, Apazaridze. Well, it's another penalty kick. One of the areas that I think both these teams are weak on is at that breakdown, is actually driving through the breakdown. So often we see the second tier bridge and form the, the ruck right over where the ball is instead of driving through like the South Africans or the Australians or the New Zealand sides would or Argentinian for that matter they also drive through that breakdown tackle scenario and it's so vital because it puts the opposition on the back foot the defenders have to pedal backwards and just makes it that much easier so this is a uh Pretty straight shot from Kaverikashvili. Let's see if he learned from what happened to his previous kick. He did, I think. Certainly did. Beautifully judged kick. The lines of the Georgian fans in the crowd. Extend their lead to six points to nil. Five minutes of actual rugby played in the first half. Well, there's a few Georgians around the place at Lons. Great to see they've got a, a band of supporters like they have. In fact, that's been one of the things of this World Cup. The numbers of supporters. Oh, the ball's knocked forward. That was danger, but uh, Namibia again couldn't take advantage of it. So the pick up again is Bajor Gadze. Again, so let's say the scrum half and skipper has a quick look to see where Kavirikashvili is standing. 
hands him in a position to drill that left footer forward once more. Yes, and it, he did it really well. Took the ball safe and securely because it's, it's slippery and cold, remember? But there was no doubt he was catching it in his body, not in his hands. An interesting character, number 18. Lutze, most experienced member of this side, and in fact, his international career just about to come up to 16 years long, 36 years of age. Olivia Guilty closing the gap. Georgia with the chance, so Abusaridze gets them going once again. Zagadze, the hooker. Bulga 7 looking to do some hard work in there to rescue the ball, but uh, it's coming out once more, surely. For Abusaridze. Again, the switch kick. Bachkin in with no chance of uh, getting on the end of that one. Roshadze takes it in the air, the flanker. And it's the kick forward into space. Good field position, certainly, didn't bounce the way. And Shikinin, but Abusaridze will be pretty pleased with that. Well, he will, and once again gives him another opportunity to put some real heat on inside the 22. I mean, I feel really, to be fair, that that's, this is where the tries are going to come in this game, inside the 22. You're not going to see 80-metre tries. Spoiled again by good catching at the line-out by Heiner Senecal. Penalty quickly taken. A spark then. Move on Tonda. The old three-man mall set up. It's a way of keeping warm. You think so? <laughs> That's what they do it for. Well, of course, the worst thing you can do is get isolated. Schroeder outside his 22. Picks up the big one. No way the winger Skinin was going to get to that. Virakashvili is in bother. His fallback because of the mishandling by the winger. They got back though, the Georgians. The younger Jogadze has to go back to look to rescue it. 12 for Georgia, but uh, they've conceded the penalty to Namibia. Yes, and Namibia, this is the first time inside the 22 and they get a penalty. Yes, and Namibia, this is the first time inside the 22 and they get a penalty. So they would have to be smiling. So if they're in here so rarely, should they kick for goal or should they... Yep plug it out in the, four, in the corner and then try and score a try. That's what I'd do if I was their captain. Well, they've done well enough in the line out haven't they? Well, and that's their area. That's their game. We've seen it. Hasn't? We've seen them drive. Structured drive. So, you've got to back yourself at some stage, and this is the first opportunity. 29 minutes gone inside the 22. Skinning nowhere near that ball. So, big, big problems for Iryo Kashvili. Yes, I think maybe they've recognised that Skinnan isn't that good. That's safe under the high wall. You can see, Napoli has recovered. So it's Moni Schroeder with the shot at goal. Deciding just conservatively to go for the three points. I think there's a few members in the grandstand that agree with me. Give it a go, mate. They're veering off target in this wind once again. Well, we watched Johnny Wilkinson returning to the England team the other day against Samoa, and every time England went down to that territory, they scored. Which is so important, isn't it? Oh, he's made such a big difference. In fact, I hear our panel talking about England now. Last week they were bagging them. This week, all of a sudden, things have changed. And they're saying, oh, they're cup winners again. But it's one of the lessons of the game, isn't it? You've got to try and take points whenever the opportunity arises. And that's their way, too, is positioning themselves to score. Duplessis does well. And for the original work by Nuvenhaus. Burger standing in midfield. Just for the moment, 
Namibia looking to do something, but then uh, blatantly losing the possession. So it's a kick and a good chase. Langenhoven oh, slices it. Situation. Chance here. And out on this side, McAnelly. Once again, going back towards his support. Yeah, he likes that. Doesn't fancy a go on the outside, does he? He likes a bit of physical contact, I think. So again, Shivat Lidze goes first of all the pick up and go. Abu Saridze having a look on the blind side, bringing in Zirakashvili. Mobile looking for forward, the number three. Only option is the kick forward for McAnally. Not a bad kick, too. Not a bad kick at all. Georgia held it just short of the line. The possession is there, though. A bit short of players, too, I'll yes. say. Just arriving now. And Berger, thinking he might have to play scrum half, but then uh, leaving it. Those are the moments. Well, it's a good clearance, but those are the moments when yep. you're putting the pressure on, you've got to have numbers to the ball and take advantage of it. But I think your message before, George, was a very good uh, very good one before. I was thinking, you you know, when you've got problems in the team and the, and the team's shaky and it's not playing like it should, Bob, you know, you've got to go back to the percentages, back to the basics yeah. and do it all right. And I think that's probably what you're referring to with England because that's exactly what they did. They just played a solid, conservative game. They got into, into a position where they could score points. They kicked them and their, and their confidence rose. Well, if you're going to score points regularly on your visits to the op opposing territory, then it's going to do a whole lot good for your game plan, isn't it? And you get used to it as well. Georgia, untidy tap down. Professor Ridze puts the kick in, though, keeping up a little bit of pressure. And so, slowly but surely you can sort of build a score. And it's the same thing here at the moment for Georgia inside Namibian territory again. They're six points up. If they could get a penalty or score a try here, they just mount. The score would mount. It makes it that much harder for Namibia to come back. Towards the front, but because uh, of the beaten to it. And now once the more. pressure. Up to Saridze once again with the high ball. Asking big questions of the defence, but that's a good catch. Under quite some pressure. Well, three men attacked that kick. The kick was good, but you've got to you've got to go for the ball in the air, I think. Of course, you wait till a defender takes the ball and he can mark it. The protection inside the 22. Ronnie Schroeder putting the ball away with the wind again, playing tricks. Is that a good law, do you think? The ability for a player to mark the ball like that there. What do you think? Feelings about that, I think. Yeah. It's all, the game's all driven around picking up the momentum these days, and of course that stops it dead in its tracks, but... Ball at the back of the line out once again, then, for Georgia. Didi Balutze, 18, was in on the peel as well. We go Labads. Well, I've got a good position here. Yeah, now they can maybe just roll this one on. Now they've got control of the ball, good control. If they can get rid of the Namibian bodies from this position. Yeah. Labadze, six. Yes, he's saying, Labadze saying, let's keep it going, lads. Yep. We want to keep the drive. Four, six foot five man. Very experienced international player. With a broken nose. Several times, I reckon. Yes. <laughs> there he is. Chance on the blind side for Labadze then. Speak of the devil. Good body position. Kept you it know, in well, didn't he? Kept it in field well. The Georgians don't drive through, though. They just drive to the ball. So it's dead duck stuff, isn't it? So again, they're bringing in Chikaitse, the number eight. Didibalutse, the replacement, 18. Mm. Beavering as well inside there. Now on the charge, Zirikashvili, the tight head prop. The centre, Jagadze, has gone in there as well. Just to aid the efforts. Gio Gatsi again, he's said, how many times has he done that? Yeah, the number 12, brother of the hooker. Fancy he's playing up front with his brother, I think, by the mm. look of him. they got a score here, don't they, Georgia? It looks inevitable. A try is imminent. It's the elder Gio Gatsi, who's being driven forward towards the line. Now then. Nope, he can't get the ball down. Gio Gatsi is turned at the last moment. No rush, though, lads. Panicked a little bit. They were in uh, the last time they were in this position. 
Well, they just need to keep their heads. Number of options there. Chikaze, number, number eight. Yeah, Gio Gatsy again, though. That's him. That's over, isn't it? Steve Walsh, yes, has given it. First try of the game. And just the second of this competition then.